Hey, it's Lamar Scholl. Welcome to Direction to Success. I'm glad you could stop by. So, if you have Aweber, do you want to know a way where you could share your legacy follow-up series with someone else that has an Aweber account? So, say if you have a, I don't know, a lot of emails in there, like 20, 50, or even 100, and you want to be able to share that with somebody else, well, guess what? Stick around. I've got a cool little trick that's going to help you out. All right, let's do this. Let's get started. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can share your legacy follow-up series with somebody else that has an Aweber account. You're essentially going to copy your list, your legacy follow-up series into their Aweber account. This is great if you have a team and you want to give everybody your actual emails that you're using to help. Obviously, it will speed up the process for them. They might have to change images, possibly right, or maybe a few links, but at least the contents there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you Basically, there's going to be two sections to this video because if you want to share your list with somebody else, you have to set um, some stuff up in Aweber. Not hard, but it's something you have to do. If you don't take that first step, nothing will work. Then after we do that, or I do that, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to then show you what the person that you're sharing your emails with, what they have to do inside their Aweber account. So you ready? Let's go. So first thing you want to do is come over and pick the list that has your legacy follow-up series in it. I am just going to pick this list right here, just like what was shown. Just doesn't matter which one. Now, what you want to do, go under Messages, Legacy Follow-up Series. Hey, I've only, this is a very short one, I only have five emails in here. So what I want to do is share these emails with somebody else. I want these e exact emails copied into their Aweber account. So the first thing you want to do, and the thing you have to do, is come down to the very bottom of the page where it says follow up sharing. So by default, when you create a new list your follow-up series the sharing is disabled by default so what you have to do is enable your list now there's a share code that is right here when they this is the share code that you have to copy and give to everyone that is on your team All right so you're going to copy this just Put it off to the side. Usually I just call it notepad or whatever. If you got an email that ready to go to send to them to let them know what the share code is. This is the share, this is what you want to give them. So that's what you have to do from your side. Now you have to leave this enabled because if you click back on the button and disable it, even if they have that share code and it's right, it's not going to work. All right. That's first step. Now the second step is when they are in their Aweber account, so now you gotta pretend like you're not in your account anymore, you are in their account or they are in their account. They have to come to the legacy series. So either they create a new list or use one already existing they can once they come into their legacy follow-up sorry about that you got to remember one thing before you do this or they do this any emails that are already in their list will be gone deleted wiped out completely obliviated they're not going to get it back so they have to be careful right they don't have to delete them before they start because Aweber will do that automatically because what's going to happen is when they import or load up your emails, it's going to look exactly like your list, right? So if they have ones they want to keep in there, they either have to make a new list 
or copy these emails that are already in there somewhere else. So you need to know that warning. It, it will replace every email that's in their list. So what they are going to do is come down here and just enter that same code. Just copy it right in here. They're going to copy that AWeber code in here and then load list. And that's a load messages. That's it. It's that simple. It takes a little time. So, you know, five messages, probably maybe, you know, a couple seconds, just depending on how busy a Weber server is, whatever, right? But if you have a hundred, it's going to take a few minutes. So you just have to be a little patient. And there is a little status that comes up, I believe, when it's importing. And then when it's done, a Weber does come back with a successful message of some kind. That's it. So this is how you share your legacy series with somebody else. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment in this video. I love answering comments and I reply back to each and every one of them. And also, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. 